Hi, I'm Jason from FlySky. Today I'm going to talk about the exponentials function for the FSI 10. So let's have a look and see what's going on. The first thing you will notice is that I dropped my thing. Hi, I'm Jason from FlySky. Today I'm going to talk about the exponentials function for the FSI 10. So we'll enter the function here. And the first thing you will notice is that the exponentials function gives us a few options. So we're not just uh, stuck with one channel, we can actually uh, apply an exponential to several different things, aileron, elevator, we can even apply an exponential to a knob, which is very useful. In this case, I'm just going to use the aileron stick as an example. Right, so this graph is actually real time. As I move the stick, the, the graph will actually show me what's going on. So this x, or this x here is actually where the stick is right now. Now because we haven't actually applied any any changes to the function it's just going to be a one-to-one -one ratio towards input and output so there's going to be no change in what you're doing. The first thing we need to do with this function is turn it on. By default these functions are all turned off so to turn it on I go to the on off icon located here. Once there's a tick located here that means that the function is now active. If I want to change the rate, all I need to do is select rate. In this case, it's already selected. And then I use the onboard wheel to change its value. To change the EXP, or exponential, all I need to do is touch here and then use the wheel to actually change the value. And as you can see, it's now starting to give us a nice curve. So now when I move the stick, it is no longer a one-to-one -one ratio of output and input. This is actually being affected by this curve. Another useful thing we can do with the exponential function is we can assign it to a switch so we can turn it on and off. This means that you could set up, uh, say, something just for takeoff or just for landing, but when you're flying, you can have a normal one-to-one -one ratio of stick movement to output. To do that, all we need to do is select the switch icon here, It'll give us a few options, so what do we want to apply switches to? So for example, I could apply a switch here, which means I can turn it on and off. I could uh, apply knobs and stuff to the jewel rate and the EXP here, so it's quite useful. We can change things on the fly whenever we're flying. So I'm just going to assign one to the on switch here. So, the system gives us a lovely diagram of uh, which switches apply to where. So in this case, I'm actually just going to take SWH, switch H. Now we select whether we want it to be up or down for on. In this case, I want to keep it as up. So I'm going to push the back button. I'll push the back button again to return to this menu. Now, whenever I move SWH or switch H, you will see that it's actually turning the function on and off, which is very useful. It means if I have one specific circumstance that I want to use this curve, but no others, I can turn it on and off. Now, it's worth noting that the this function also works with the conditions. I will do a separate video on conditions. Um, so conditions pretty much mean that I could set up several different curves. And actually, I can do this across a lot of functions. A condition doesn't just affect this function, but it affects... Um, quite a few different ones. So I could have a one curve for takeoff and landing, one curve for flight, and one curve for whatever else that you were thinking of doing. Thank you for watching. If you would like to see more tutorials and news, please visit our website.